Hey, Curtis, I love your work. You've, you've done and continue doing super valuable and lots of fun. Nicely done. I'd like to ask your opinion on these couple of things and I'll give some background to where they're coming from. Can you extend on your thoughts on pros and cons and or the realities of working multiple plots? What do you think about the uh, effectiveness of buffer zones 10 to 20 meters between an organically farmed lot and conventional? Uh, let me answer those questions first. Uh, well, no, maybe I'll just, it looks like you got, I'll, I'll just keep reading. You've given us some context here. I'm a beginner market style farmer in Southern Chile. Oh, cool, man. And last year started my first plot growing on 500 square meters. So for any Americans or UK people listening, that is about 5,000 square feet. Uh, on a peri-urban lot that I own, but I recently moved to a different um, region and I've been looking for a place to continue the project and want to jump up to a thousand square feet or 10,000 uh, or a thousand square meters or 10,000 square feet for the coming season. I'm not really in a position to buy. And so looking for a rental or other arrangement, it's been really helpful to go back and reread the parts of your book that touch on the subject. After seeing several different options, I am now deciding between two, but thinking of the possibility of starting on both. Notable differences between the two include site one is an abandoned garden project. Thousand square meters is fenced and previously owned slash planted. There is a 15 by five meter greenhouse. So that's pretty, that's a decent, that's a 45 by, uh, 15 foot uh, well water is piped to the site five minutes from my rental house and the town where most of the market is it's on and in the middle of the uh, conventional cattle farm where they do pesticide applications through irrigation uh, once a year in the fall through the irrigation okay well that's not so bad as spraying um, site two natural pasture with light horse grazing at least over the last eight years well water piped to within 200 meters needs fencing is a really is a really start from scratch site 10 minutes from my home and market space uh space to expand beyond to a thousand square meters in the future all of the characteristics i've looked at are very similar i hope this is an okay format for the question thanks a ton that's a great format for the question i like how you gave me your questions up front and then gave me your context it's great format um so what do I think about the uh, effectiveness of buffer zones? Yeah, I mean, this is just the reality of organic agriculture. And most farms that I've visited, the hundreds of farms that I've visited over the last 10 years, they all deal with this. And um, there are standards that if you're certified organic, you're going to follow. And um, there might be st different standards in naturally grown. I'm not too sure. But... You know, 10 to 20 meters is a decent amount of space. I would say if they're watering that through irrigation, that's better than if they were blasting that, that mist stuff because that stuff blows around a lot more, at least from what I've seen. I'm not an expert in that type of agriculture, though, uh, as far as, as tree fruits and things like that. Um, I think you're okay. 